Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Talking to many pastors at this time, I'm finding more and more sharing with me how exhausted they are. Trying to negotiate uh, life after lockdown and restarting church, sometimes church being cancelled again, as has happened with many of the churches in Dublin, has been immensely stressful for church leaders. But of course, it's not only church leaders who are feeling the pressure these days. Uh, on Sunday, I was talking with one of our wonderful health workers, a nurse, who's been working in the intensive care units, uh, with, with particularly working with COVID patients. And she was sharing with me how they st her and the other nurses are just feel they haven't got over the stress of the previous wave of coronavirus, sharing how they are still physically and mentally exhausted, still, still feel they are carrying the scars of the stress whenever it looked like the health system was going to be overloaded. And she was expressing to me her, her concern as the number of cases in our country rise, that we could find ourselves back in the same situation again, when, that when she hasn't recovered from the last wave, that these uh, nurses in our intensive care units uh, do not feel equipped to cope with a second wave. Well, at these times of pressure, we, you know, sometimes we can't make the pressure go away, but there are things we can do. First of all, there are practical things. One of the practical things that we have to do is to maximize uh, the time that we have to, for relaxation. That, that means that when we get a day off, make it count, make it count as a day off, spend time, find what, it, what are the things that truly uh, rejuvenate you? What, what, what are the things that truly re-energize and refresh you? And don't be afraid to, to lay aside time to do those things when you get the opportunity. You know, I've I've often been guilty of work not taking a day off and working through uh, just to get jobs done. But I have to tell you now, I don't see that as a virtue, and I'm finding that I'm having to take days off myself. And sometimes, some weeks, I have to take two days off because I know I'm not going to get done what I need to get done unless I take that time to get refreshed. You know, so find out the things that refresh you and, and give the time that you need in order to be refreshed. But then when you've done all of these practical things, you might be saying, but that's not enough. Even with all of that, I still feel overwhelmed. And that's, thank God, that's where, that's where Jesus comes in. Because in the book of, I, oh, sorry, in the book of Isaiah, and chapter 40, at verse 28, it says, Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. So because our God will not grow tired or weary, he is the one we have to turn to when we grow tired and we feel weary. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary and they will walk and they will not faint. You know, I truly believe today that if you are feeling overwhelmed by circumstances and pressure, if you are feeling exhausted, yes, take time to do those things that re-energize you. Don't be ashamed of that or afraid of that. That's what you've got to do. But then look to the Lord and ask the Lord to come and strengthen you, to give you, to renew your youth like the eagles. I believe that if you will do that, the Lord will strengthen you. You know, this is a time when we need to rely on him like never before. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings like eagles. And I pray that today, as you do that, 
you will experience an increase of strength, an increase of stamina, and in, that your times of leisure, it's, it's as they were, it would be multiplied in effectiveness to you. May that be your experience today in Jesus' name. Please join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.